Hi everyone, my name is Selena Belial and I am the founder and one of the board approved CE providers here at CE Institute where we primarily teach CE classes for the Florida Board of Nursing. Florida Board of Massage and Florida Board of Cosmetology. But we do have many other healthcare providers, such as acupuncturists and physical and occupational therapists, in our classes as well. The one thing that we ask is that you are a licensed healthcare provider who's already completed rudimentary training uh, to practice anything that we show or demonstrate, because you do need to learn certain precautions and contraindications prior to working on people to avoid doing any harm. Of course, anyone's welcome to watch this for their own informational purposes, um, but be, be sure if you're gonna operate or practice something that you're licensed and professionally trained and legal to do so. Today, what I'd like to share with you is some information about casino chair massage. Okay, we teach chair massage here at the school and they are in our um, CE classes, all these different hands-on techniques that you might wanna learn in uh, one of the classes that we offer. Um, but we asked Kelly to put together a short video for us. She's from Winning Hands and she operates a casino chair massage business. And we wanted her to share with our students what casino massage exactly entails. What are the expectations? How might this be practiced in a casino operation? And she put that together for us. So if you'd like more information about chair massage training, please contact us here at the school. We're at ceinstitute.com. You can also at the bottom of our website menu page, you can see our social media icons. That's a great place to stay in touch for additional free trainings like this one. And if you'd like more information about working in a casino, you might wanna reach out to Kelly Steed at Winning Hand. She's a great resource. So without further ado, here's Kelly Steed. Hello, my name is Kelly and I'm a casino massage therapist since 2013. I'm going to show you how to perform chair massage at a poker table. For a casino massage, you'll need a fanny pack, lotion, I always use Biotone, and a watch to time the massage. In a casino, therapists walk around the tables and players will wave you over if they want a massage. You'll have them turn the chair around so you can access the entire back. We use a cushion to make the clients more comfortable. Always check in and ask about pressure and problem areas before you begin. Poker players almost always have neck and shoulder complaints, so I usually start there. As always, tailor the massage to the client's needs. I keep one foot to the side of the chair and the other behind for leverage. I try to use my body as much as I can to pull the shoulders back. Players are usually hunched over for hours while they play, so it's good to straighten them out as much as you can. I also like to get on my toes and use the side of my palms to separate the shoulders. Shorter therapists will sometimes carry a foldable step stool to get a little higher if they need to. I work my way down the back, shifting my body to apply pressure. Just like any chair massage, it's important to keep your body in a straight line and never lock the elbows. All my strength comes from my legs and core. To increase pressure on the erectors, I like to lock my elbow high on my hip and use my body to push forward. I find that this technique helps me apply deeper pressure while not straining my hands. If your wrist doesn't enjoy this position, you can also make a fist and use that instead. I make my way down the back on each side. I prefer a slow, precise style of massage. To me, this helps conserve energy, especially when performing longer massages. In a casino, clients pay per minute. Some massages will last 10 minutes, others can be two to three hours. Sometimes 
times you may find yourself having to work in tighter spaces than what is shown here. It's important to adjust your body mechanics according to the space you have to avoid injuring yourself. After I do my routine down the back, I like to retarget the neck and shoulders. Here, I took my hands off the client so he could readjust, but it is important to keep contact at all times. This is just an average neck massage. The client will usually be involved in the game, so you may not always have access to the occipital region like I do here. It's good to pay some attention to what's happening in the game and use the time the client is not involved in a hand to get deeper into the neck. You may notice that I'm wearing my wedding ring. I do this to let the players know that I'm married, as they can be a bit rowdy sometimes. I would never wear a ring during a table massage where my hands are having to glide over the skin. Players generally love a scalp massage, though some will tell you not to because it can make them sleepy and takes focus from the game. I like to use my elbow to really get into that scapula area. Poker players usually have a lot of tension here from being hunched over. Elbows don't glide well over shirt material, so I recommend more of a pressure point with some motion to keep your elbow skin intact. I will glide over the traps with my elbow if the shirt is loose enough. I always use my body to get deeper and stay stabilized. I do often wear my hair down in the casino as I'm not directly over the client like I would be during a table massage. It is still important to make sure hair does not touch the client, so therapists with longer hair should tie it back. I like to use double elbows to spread the scapulas and dig into the traps. Because of the position of the poker table, I find this is a good way to press into the traps. Just be aware of the other players sitting to the sides of your client. Some players will request an arm and hand massage, but anything below the belt is usually off limits. That means no legs or feet are massaged at the poker table. I let the client dangle the arm to the side for easy access. You can also have them lean back to get into the pectorals. For me, the easiest way to get to the forearm and hand is to kneel. You can also lift the hand to massage while standing, or if your knees are not happy kneeling, you can always pull up an empty chair and massage the hand that way. I never massage the hands if the player doesn't request it. Some don't like the lotion on their hands while they handle the cards. A trick I like to use is to end with a full minute of scalp massage if the player okays it. Often, players will extend their massage time just to get more scalp.
Another trick I use at the end of the service is a good back scratch. Again, players will often ask for five more minutes of just scratching. Easy money for you. Players will pay in cash or casino chips, which you'll cash in later. Always thank them and end with a good luck. And make sure you always sanitize your cushion at the end of a service. Thank you for watching.